Welcome my beautiful Geminis, my beautiful twins, Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of July the 4th to July the 10th. Again, this is general, doesn't mean every single card of the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you, but take what you can from it. Throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any personal questions, all that information is posted below each and every one of my videos, how to contact me for a private reading. Okay, let's see what we have here for my beautiful gems. You've got the mule for your first energy card coming in behind you, and it says someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. You could be dealing with opposing energy. It could be a child. It could be a relative. It could be a friend. It could be a colleague, anybody that you're working with, or even a client that you're trying to coach through a situation. So this is going to take you time to be articulate, creative, compassionate, tolerant, and patient this week. So dealing with that energy, those will be the elements I think that will definitely enhance uh, and move you forward to successfully uh, do this with them. So somebody could be very stubborn right now and they're digging their heels in and they're drawing the line in the sand and they don't want to budge. So they, you may have some opposing energies here where you're really going to have to level up and amp up your energy to, to go forward to succeed at, you know, at helping this individual to see what they need to see. Now, you've got the star and it says you have that ability to shine your light out there. The eight of coins working hard on your job and the queen of pentacles getting rid of things. So the star, yeah, you're out there shining your light. Continue to do that. Stay positive. You're going to see your path illuminated so that you can see where you want to go. You can see your light at the end of the tunnel. Projecting yourself out there. Letting the world know and the universe know what you have to offer and you have a lot, my beautiful Gemini's to offer. So keep shining your light. Keep staying out there. You are the sh you are the headliner on your stage and the world and the universe is going to reward you for that. As long as you don't give up, keep moving forward. Don't give up. Take what time you need to think about how you're going to change things as you start showing yourself and showcasing yourself. Beautiful. Eight of Coins says continue doing that. That's you working hard on your gift and your craft and doing whatever you need to do to do that to, to find the success and get the rewards that you deserve for your hard work and effort. So I do think some of you are going to be changing things as you go through this. It's sort of, they're telling me there's going to be a transformation. You're taking a long time thinking about uh, what it is you want to do, or you're going to be very serious about thinking about changing things with how you do your job. Now, some of you might even be uh, taking another form of study. You may be adding to uh, your gifts that you have, that you use in your job, in your career, getting a credit, getting a diploma, uh, maybe getting certified in something. Whatever the case is, definitely moving forward, and that's definitely going to amp up the level on your resume for higher income bracket. Beautiful. Queen of Pencils says, yeah, I do think you're getting rid of the old, out with the old and in with the new. I think you're cleaning out things. Uh, for someone, you could literally be doing that. You could be cleaning house. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're uh, decluttering. Maybe you're downscaling. Whatever the case is, uh, you might be doing that. For others, it could be things such as the way you think. Uh, you're changing the way you think about situations, looking at things from a bigger and wider, more open perspective so that you can see the whole picture, so that you can see down the end of this, uh, the end of your uh, of your path here, on your, on your journey here. So so, Queen of Pencils is also the Queen of Swords, as I said, getting rid of things that no longer serve you. So that could be cutting out negative, toxic relationships. That could be, um, you know, removing, uh, you know, walking away from a relationship, maybe changing up your job, deciding I don't want to be here anymore. I want a better one. Whatever the case is, you're definitely cleaning out. And that's what's going to help you go forward. I think you're going solo. I think a lot of you have decided to cut the cords and go out on your own and to create Create your own love and laughter and happiness. Okay, the valley. So deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So, um, the, you know, this is a, an interesting card because to me it conveys the fact that you need to take your time and plan your move where it is you want to go. It's also like the strength card where I think, you know, I always say our biggest strength is to be able to look at a situation from a bigger perspective but also with restraint. It's very difficult, that word restraint, especially when we want to jump into something and jump in uh, in the heat of the moment and then react and then later on we could regret. So don't go jumping into the quicksand and trying to figure out how you're going to swim your way out. So this is called, this is calling for, I think, patience, tolerance and compassion this week. 
and I, I see that with this now coming in the center position you do have the three of coins celebrating something you've got the devil card the eagle card and you have the empress three of coins yes i love this this is a card that says you could be celebrating something uh there could be you know a reward coming in for your hard work and effort but it can also be celebrating an occasion and wanting to do things together with those that you love and enjoying in that happiness and laughter there could be the announcement of an engagement maybe there's going to be a housewarming maybe somebody's got a degree they they're graduating uh it could be a reunion um the birth of a baby anything this is your time to celebrate something there, you're going to hear good news about something and getting out there with your friends and family now ego comes in uh-huh okay stay positive stay optimistic believe in yourself go forward with confidence and love and put all the get rid of the fear and the and all the guilt and all the stress and all those feelings that you may be having it within you this time as you could some of you could be struggling with having to be you know use restraint and think about a situation <clears throat> now it also is a card of addictions. So this is a card that says you're going to start making some changes in your life. And addictions can be anything. Overeating, overindulging, over worry, uh, you know, overworking, whatever the case is, over obsessing. Um, you're going to change things up. And I think you're taking your time to think about that here because I do see a lot of happiness coming in with this reading. So the devil card says making those profound lifestyle changes that are going to help propel you. What's holding you back? Let go of those chains and cut them. Move forward. Because as I had said, that Queen of Swords says you're going to get rid of those things that are holding you back so that you can go forward in a positive, direct, successful direction. The Empress says, yeah, you know what? You're, you're going to be able to get the information you want. Finding new ideas. Doing things differently. Doing things that are going to bring you happiness because you're going to find those answers by doing your research now. So look into, into doing your research. What is it you're changing up? Okay, what are you doing? The Empress sits there with that Book of Wisdom on her lap in the traditional tarot. And that means she's content because she's got everything she needs in that book to go forward and create her, create her, her, her new future here. Now, beautiful cards, you know, making yourself healthier, moving forward, getting the information you need to work with that. And you're going to success, you're going to succeed at something because you're going to find some happiness here with community and celebrating something here. So it's beautiful. Now your next row, which is interesting, you got the month of July and we know we're moving into July very soon, but I wanted to know what was going to happen in July. You got the elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end. So some of you could be, you know, going on a, on a, a mental journey here, changing things up with the way you look at where your life is going and the things you're doing and how you're doing them. And that's, that's going to be your journey. For others, you could be actually packing your suitcase and deciding to take a holiday or a journey or a business trip. And they say it's going to be a long one. So it could long could mean traveling, a, you know, mile mileage, uh, kilometers, distance, long distances, or it may be time. You might be leaving and going somewhere or changing something up uh, for, you know, f for, you know, doing things differently now for the next duration of your life, which will be a long time. So you're going to do this in July, a lot of you. Now, coming in with that, towards you, you've got the lovers. You've got the page of wands. I, or the page of, yeah, the page of wands. And the nine of coins and nine of pentacles. So these are great cards, my beautiful gems. So the lovers is all about making profound decisions and choices. And they could be on a heart level. Okay? This is an emotional card that says, you know, take your brain with you. But think about things compassionately. Think about things that are working, that, that you want to see have the last the test of time. So the lovers is, all, is also the card that you could be meeting somebody new. You could be connecting with someone on a heart level and an emotional level. This could be your partner or you could be meeting somebody new. So it's a beautiful card. Now the page of wands says get ready for opportunities to start knocking on your door. It's beautiful. These are new things coming into you, new ideas, uh, things that are going to make you passionate and excited to go forward. It could be your job. Maybe you're, you know, you're getting exciting news. That, oh my gosh, I can go out and buy that new computer or I can collaborate with this, uh, this famous person that I want to be with or whatever the case is here. Definitely this is your reason to celebrate something because you're going to hear about some excellent news coming in that's going to give you an open doors, give you the opportunities to propel you forward in the direction that's going to make you your happiest. 
and here it is the nine of coins and i always say this is walking in your garden of prosperity being able to now take a breath of relief and relax and rest up right being able to realize that you're going to have the resources and what you need now where you're not going to feel so stressed and so pushed and being open as i said to ha being open to these new decisions and these new opportunities coming into you you could also be wanting to get outside more. Uh, this talks about, you know, uh, like <clears throat> the Empress does, getting into nature, getting outside, doing more grounding work. Maybe some of you are going to do that. Start realizing that the changes you need to make here with the Devil card is to get outside, to open the windows, to be out in nature. I mean, I always tell everybody, take yourself to church and that's outside. You've got, you've got church right there. Ground yourself. Get out there on this beautiful planet if you're capable of doing that and enjoy it. Find that little niche, that little pocket of where you feel comfortable to sit and ground yourself. Run your feet in that water, the sand, the grass, whatever the case is. Remove your shoes and feel that vibration. This is all about feeling this wonderful feeling of being able to walk in your garden of abundance. And that abundance could be an increase in pay. It could be, uh, in, you know, anything, anything that brings you feeling successful happy and at peace beautiful now your outcome card is an interesting card okay this is the skies and remember i had talked about somebody being being stubborn here you might be dealing with somebody here uh that's causing a bit of a opposition so it could be something you're cutting away as i had talked about with the queen of Pent pencils the queen of swords uh you know sudden and abrupt complete cutting away or clearing out of something again making those wise choices with the devil ego card here it could mean a separation from someone or something you value right now so there could be something here that you've just decided you need a time out from and you're going to cut it out you're going to get rid of it sorry about that noise but my broom fell over here so okay interesting reading lots of changes here for you um i really believe that you know you're going to be able to see light at the end of the tunnel here though because you've made you're making some major decisions to change things up and in return you're going to see that by doing that there's new doors of opportunity opening up for you and you're going to have the resources to walk in your garden of abundance and this is bringing you into that point of celebration and it may even start in july next month that you're going on this new journey that you're changing things up by getting rid of what wasn't working in the past and starting something new that's going to make you feel excited and passionate okay let's see what we've got for clarification spirit and guides what does gemini need to see know or expect let's see what we have here <coughs> What we have is me making a mess on my desk. That's what we have. Once more, let's see what we have. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. So coming in with working hard for your, for your you know, to gain uh, success here on your gift, your craft, your job, uh, you know, shining your light so that everybody knows what you have to offer and getting rid of what doesn't serve you, you have the hermit. So you're definitely going on an emotional or a spiritual journey here, finding out what it is you need to know, tapping into the powers that be, the mentors out there that you want to learn from. Um, you are a, you're, you're the sponge for information anyway, Geminis. I call you the guru. Google queens and kings uh, you you love to learn I, I, you know it's amazing you could be a student forever uh, because of this but you're on a new journey here definitely being able to go forward and um, you know shine your light out there you're gonna you're, you have this ability to help heal and shine your light on other people too so you could be again this is the card that says removing yourself temporarily from a relationship so you might be cutting out somebody here that isn't helping you grow and expand. Now, you with your three of coins and your, your ego card, your death card, and the empress, you've got the star again. So twice, look at this, twice you get this message, okay? So you're definitely going forward here. You're definitely promoting yourself. You're going to see some great success coming into you because you're letting the world know exactly who you are and what your gifts are what you have to offer out there so don't be afraid to shine your light get out there get out there and enjoy this beautiful new beginning have faith in yourself because it is going to be a prosperous beginning and you're on the right path going forward here so go for it my beautiful beautiful gems trust and follow your intuition because you're right on target now coming in with the lovers 
with the page of wands and that nine of coins you've been brought in you've got something else coming in here this beautiful page of cups so the page of cups is all about somebody new coming in they might look younger than you act younger than you perhaps they will be younger than you but they're a new person at, that enters your life and it could be the start of a friendship or even a room romance or maybe the renewal of something a beautiful friendship or a romance that you've had in the past but this person brings something into the equation where the puzzle piece fits they're intuitive they're psychic and they're like you so that's beautiful but you could also be receiving some beautiful information in the form of a text or a message or a call that has to do with like a love letter here so Pay attention to your dreams. Trust yourself here. This is something here. It could be a temporary relationship that's going to bring something new into the equation. But this person definitely comes in with something that is with attention, respect, affection, um, and, you know, yeah, and maybe even love. Wow. Okay. This is your reading for this week of July the 4th. And I wish you a great remainder to today, my beautiful Geminis. And always know I send you lots of love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon.